Well, hello again, everyone, and welcome to setting up your PlayStation 5 for the very first time. If you have not seen my unboxing video of the PlayStation 5, I highly recommend checking that out. But in this video, I will be setting it up, and that should be a fun time. So first thing you're going to do when you get your PlayStation 5 is attach the stand that it comes with. And you can... And, and you can attach it either for the horizontal position or vertical position, depending on how you choose to display your console. Now, first, a pro tip. If you're going to be doing this on like a hard surface, like a wood table or something like I have here, it might be a good idea to lay down like a towel or something because the plastic on this console can dig into the wood or the wood might even scratch the plastic on the console. So you may want to protect uh, the plastic by laying down a towel or something on your wood table. So first thing you're going to want to do is, well, first of all, the uh, the quick start guide does give you instructions on mounting the stand. So here they are right here. So for the horizontal position, what you'll do is you'll take the plastic stand and you'll twist it in this direction. And then you will simply attach it to the back here and basically just squeeze it into place. There are, uh, there are indications on the, uh, the plastic itself. It looks like this right here, the uh, square, triangle, and circle. Uh, you will line them up with that and, and just squeeze it right down. And then you can display it horizontally like that. But I will be displaying mine vertically. So to do that, the instructions say that there is this um, there is this screw cap right here on the bottom of the console. So you want to pop that out, and you can do that very carefully with like a little tiny little screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, or anything else that's very flat, and just kind of dig it out like that. And there you go. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, the uh, the cap is right there. See, there's a little hole there in the center of the bottom, and this little piece here uh, just comes right out. And they actually make a little home for it on the stand right here. Well, actually, if, if you're going to do it vertically, you have to put the stand back in this position where these line up. And now you will see that little home right there for where the cap goes so you just click it right in there it's very loose it seems like it'll fall out but it's not and then there's a little screw right there so you take the screw out it's kind of a weird looking screw see if it'll focus for me this second may not want to focus but yeah it's just a little thread right there and with the big screw. So, so now we attach this. Uh, for the vertical position, we attach it like this. And then we just stick the screw right in. And then we can use a larger screwdriver to tighten it. Or, or you could also use a coin. And tighten it up tight. It, it doesn't have to be so tight that you won't get it loose anymore. Just, just make sure it's snug. And now, your PlayStation 5 is ready for use. Okay, so I have located the PlayStation 5 to where it's going to be. I realize this is a bit close to the edge, but this is the only place it can go with my setup because my TV... Uh, with the height this console is, it just can't go anywhere else. And I'm mounting it vertically, not horizontally, so I can't put it down here anywhere. So this is the only place uh, that it can go. The stand is hanging over just a little bit, but this is not going to fall. So this is going to be sturdy and secure, so, uh, so I am not worried. So hooking up the wires. So on the back of the console, as I said in the unboxing, there is your power port down here and your HDMI out and your LAN, which is your Ethernet, and your two USB 3.0 ports, which I will not be using at this time, 
but I probably will in the future. And I have the three cables already here uh, that I need. So first the power. So that just simply goes here on the bottom. Like that. So now for the HDMI. Uh, the HDMI goes in here. Like that. And now time for your Ethernet. And that goes in the LAN port. So those are all three cables hooked up. And that's really all you need to that's really all you need from the get-go. Um, uh, now if you have any external drives you want to hook up, you'll probably hook them up back here using one of the USB ports. But I do not have any of those right now. So for now, I am ready and I am set to go. Now my TV does not support HDMI 2.1, so I think it only supports HDMI 2.0. Okay, so I have the TV on the correct input. So we will now turn on the PlayStation 5 for the very first time. And there is a little power button right here on the bottom. You may not be able to see it, but there's like little buttons right here. Uh, this one here is for eject for the disk drive, and the bottom one is for power. So we will turn it on. Ah, uh, yes. The future is here. It's already want me to update system software. Awesome. Awesome. Ah, uh, well, it looks like it wants me to connect the USB port to the controller. So it wants me to hook up USB to the controller, so we will do that. Here's the USB port here, and we'll hook this up right here in the front. Now that might be a little hard to see. There you go. Connect your controller to the console with the USB cable and press the PS button. Thanks, robot voice. Conecta tu control a la consola con un cable USB y pulsa el botón PS. And it gives you Spanish. Very Branchez nice. votre manette de jeu sur la console à l'aide d'un câble USB, puis appuyez sur la touche PS. I'm not sure what language that was. Connect your controller to the console All with right. the USB anyway. cable and press the PS button. The PS button, there we go. Select your language. English, United States. Press the... Continue with the screen reader turned on. Continue. No, we'll turn that Button. off. Press... Cr no. Okay. So display area. The circle should fill the screen without showing black borders. So you can adjust this if you want. But... But you can see mine's already set up properly, so we'll press OK on that. I do not have any physical PS5 game discs right now, but I will have a lot of games to download. But, um, but yeah, so we'll skip that for now. So you, can, so you can control the amount of power consumed and the features your PS5 can use while in rest mode. So, I may mess with this later, but right now we'll just put it on optimized experience because that's what we want, right? And of course, you can read this if you want. It's just the license agreement. So, we'll just confirm that. And. And you can, uh, so you do not have to update it right now, uh, but you can if you want. But just so I can show you what all is involved in setting this up, I will do that later. So, wait a second, let me go back here. 
So, so apparently there's multiple ways you can input. Uh, you can use this touchpad here. So that's pretty cool. So a little backspace there. We'll do capital letters. It's a little difficult to type with just one hand, but I'll do it this time. Okay. All right. Welcome to PlayStation 5. Here we are. And Astro's Playroom. So you can use Astro's Playroom when you first get your PS5 to... has a little nice tech demo. And I hear Astro's Playroom is... It's pretty nice. It's pretty cool. So anyway, that's really all it takes to get to get up and running with your PS5, as if you choose not to update it immediately. So that can actually be pretty quick. Um, that seemed to be a lot faster than the PS4's initial setup, so that's really nice. Um, now, of course, um, you can go to settings here, and you can probably update it later uh, using your network. Um, you can set up your network here, and you can sign in to your PlayStation network. Um, you can test your internet connection, uh, which seems to be working okay. And you can... So if you're using a wireless connection, it, it may ask you to set that up uh, before you come to the, um, uh, the main menu here. Uh, but since I was using Ethernet, it just detected that automatically. So here's the PlayStation Store here. I bet you gotta sign in before you can do that. So yeah, not bad guys. Uh, actually, let me sign in to my PSN network. Well, actually you have to... Uh, uh, so you have to update the system software first before you can sign in uh, to your PlayStation network. So we will do that now. And we'll see how long it says that'll take. Or maybe it's already downloaded it and it'll just install it immediately. Right now, PlayStation 5 is restarting. All right, it looks like it's moving along pretty fast. Yeah, that only took a few seconds. Really nice. And once you do this initial uh, hookup with USB, um, you shouldn't have to do it again. Uh, you can use it wirelessly from then on. You should be able to power on the console as well from your controller, just like with the PS4. Okay. Now it's installing some more stuff. But still, this looks like it's going really fast. And it'll restart again. This is in real time, so so this still looks like it'll take maybe about a minute. All right. Rebuilding database. Hmm. All right, here's what I missed. The system software update, and there's also an update to Asteroids Playroom. So, all right, so lots of stuff happening here. But, and now I gotta press the uh, the button again. Hmm. And look at this, a new version of the wireless controller device software is available. So, I guess we'll do that now too. 
So, like every new console, when you first get it, there's a lot of updates. So definitely expect this when you first get your PlayStation 5. And if you're getting this even later on, there may even be more updates than this. But this is as of August 2021. All right. All right, guys. Well, I think that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, though, let me try signing in here. All right, so I have signed in to my account. And so this is where you can choose between different settings for your privacy settings. So I'm just going to do friend focused for now. Friend focused. So if you choose this setting, uh, your friends can see your gaming history, games, and broadcast. They can chat with you and da da da. Uh, the, uh, the other players must ask to become your friend, um, but they still need your permission to view all those uh, 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 details. And your real name will be visible only to the friends on places in network that you choose. So we'll be good there. And you can set up a passcode and whatnot. Hmm. And it wants you to do a two-step verification, but I will do this later. And if you want to set up parental controls, you can do that as well. And look at this, these are all the PlayStation 5 games that I have right now. So uh, so as soon as you sign in to your, uh, to, uh, to your PSN account uh, on your PS5, it will give you a list of PS5 games you can download immediately. I think I'll start with Bugsnacks. And any media, um, I don't use any of these right now. We'll just stick with YouTube. And, and now we're on the PlayStation Store. Which definitely looks different than the PS4's PS, uh, PlayStation Store, that's for sure. And here's deals. Current deals as of August 21st, 2021. Yes. And uh, see more PS5 games. That's what we want. Uh, Hot Wheels Unleashed. That looks interesting. I, I want to play that at some point. Um, let's see. I'm not sure what this is. Kiwi. Um, let's see, Rims Racing just announced. Yeah, so there's some Mindy stuff on here. It's like a pretty decent selection. Maybe not many must-have titles yet, um, but I'm sure as we get into the next year and beyond, there will be a lot more games. And there's Astro's Playroom. And Bug Snacks is already ready to play. And Sackboy's Sackboy A Big Adventure, I want to play that as well. Um, you can get that a lot cheaper now though, physically copied. Um, not 60 bucks, you can get it for like 30 to 40, a physical copy. Summer Sports Games is half priced at 15. And that's the end of the list for now. But all right, guys, um, I think that'll do it for here. So this is how you initially set up your PlayStation 5. It looks pretty straightforward, pretty simple, and, and it looks to be faster, too, um, than um, there's something else I want to check out, too. The PS Plus collection. I was really interested in that. Yes, uh, Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, um, God of War, Fallout 4, Ratchet and Clank, The Last of Us, yes, Days Gone, 
Yes, I was really... I was definitely wanting to check this out as well. So you get all these games included as well for free on PS5 if you're a PlayStation Plus member. Again, this is as of August 2021. This might change in the future. Maybe some more titles will be added. I don't know if they're going to remove some titles, or like swap them out or whatever. But as of right now, these are the titles that are available in the PlayStation Plus collection. So anyhow, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick setup of the PlayStation 5. And hope you enjoy your PlayStation 5 if you got one. And if you have not gotten one yet, keep checking. Um, if you are a PlayStation member and you're signed up for PlayStation emails, um, keep an eye on your inbox you might get an invite to purchase a PlayStation 5 from PlayStation Direct because that's how I got mine. So keep an eye on your inbox. But anyhow guys, thank you so much for watching. Happy gaming, and I will see you next time.